My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 66 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at the general properties of metallic compounds. Remember, we are still dealing with metals and their compounds. And these compounds of metals, they have properties that jam expects you to know. Jam expects you to know the properties or general properties of metallic compounds under solubility and stability to heat. Which compounds of metals are soluble? That is, which compounds of metals dissolve in water? And which compounds of metal decompose when heated? Which of them do not decompose when heated? All these are what we shall treat in this episode. Properties of metallic compounds. Let's start with the trazocarbonates of metals. When metals react with CO3 2 minus, we form the trazocarbonates of metals. For example, potassium and CO3 we form K2CO3. That is potassium trazocarbonate. Sodium reacting with trazocarbonate will give us sodium trazocarbonate. So, what are the properties of trazocarbonates in terms of solubility? and in terms of stability to heat. Take note of this. All trazocarbonates are insoluble in water except potassium and sodium trazocarbonate. Which trazocarbonates are soluble in water? Potassium trazocarbonate and sodium trazocarbonate. Others do not dissolve in water. If you want to add, you can add ammonium trazocarbonate. Ammonium trazocarbonates are also soluble in water. Now, how about stability to heat? All trazocarbonates of metals decompose when heated, except potassium trazocarbonate, sodium trazocarbonate, and barium trazocarbonate, which means the trazocarbonates that are soluble, they also do not decompose when heated. All trazocarbonates are insoluble except potassium trazocarbonate and sodium trazocarbonate. All trazocarbonates decompose when heated except potassium trazocarbonate, sodium trazocarbonate, and barium trazocarbonate. And take note of this. Anytime you see Al2CO3, that is aluminum trazocarbonate, note that that answer is wrong because aluminum trazocarbonate does not exist. Nothing like aluminum triazonitrate 5, NO3 minus. When metallic ions react with NO3 minus, we form the triazonitrate 5. When potassium reacts with NO3, we have potassium triazonitrate 5. We have sodium triazonitrate 5, calcium triazonitrate, and so on. That is the formation of triazonitrate. In terms of solubility, all triazonitrate 5 are soluble. Yes, they are soluble. And let's look at stability to heat. Triazonitrate 5, they also decompose on heating. Now, for potassium and sodium, when heated, they form diazonitrate and oxygen is given up. When potassium triazonitrate decomposes, it forms, that is, KNO3 decomposes to form KNO2 and oxygen is given up. When sodium triazonitrate decomposes, it, form, it forms NaNO2 and oxygen is given up. How about potassium 
magnesium, zinc, lead, and copper. When the triazonitrates of potassium, of magnesium, of zinc, of lead, and of copper decompose, they will give you an oxide, NO2, and oxygen. So, if the triazonitrate 5 of any of calcium, any of magnesium, any of zinc, any of lead, and any of copper break down, the results are an oxide, then nitrogen 4 oxide, and oxygen. Nitrogen 4 oxide, oxygen, and oxide are the products of the decomposition of calcium, magnesium, lead, uh, copper, triazonitrate 5. Then, silver and gold. The triazonitrate 5 of silver and gold will give you metal, oxygen, and nitrogen 4 oxide. Look at it. AgNO3, that is silver triazonitrate 5. When it decomposes, it will give you silver, it will give you oxygen, and it will give you nitrogen 4 oxide. The same for say, gold. Once again, potassium and sodium triazonitrates will decompose to form diazonitrate and oxygen. Meanwhile, calcium, magnesium, zinc, lead, and copper triazonitrate 5. When they decompose, they will give you an oxide, they will give you nitrogen 4 oxide, and they will give you oxygen. For silver and gold, they will give you the metal, oxygen, and nitrogen 4 oxide. Let's see chlorides. When metals react with chlorine ion, they form chlorides. Example, sodium chloride, which is common salt, copper chloride, silver chloride, and so on. In terms of solubility, all chlorides are soluble, except copper chloride, mercury chloride, and silver chloride. All chlorides are soluble, except copper chloride, mercury chloride, and silver chlorides. Lead chloride has a kind of behavior. For example, lead chloride is insoluble in cold water, but dissolves slightly in warm water. So, which of the following is insoluble in cold water, but dissolves slightly in warm water? That is simply lead chloride. In terms of stability to heat, chlorides like potassium chloride, um, silver chloride, mercury chloride, these guys will decompose on heating. But sodium chloride will not decompose on heating. It is a very, very stable salt, which means for salts that do not decompose on heating, evaporation can be used to separate them. When you evaporate, it does not decompose on heating. For sulfides, all sulfides are insoluble except potassium sulfide and sodium sulfide. All sulfides are insoluble except potassium sulfide and sodium sulfide. For oxides, all oxides are insoluble except potassium, sodium, and calcium oxide. Popular scientists can. So the oxides of the three most reactive metals, or the, or the three most electropositive metals, are soluble, but others are insoluble. And tetraosophate cis of metals. All tetraosophate cis of metals are not stable. They decompose on heating, except sodium, potassium, and calcium tetraosophates. All oxides are insoluble in water, except the oxides of potassium, sodium, and calcium. Now, all tetraosophates decompose, except the same sodium tetraosophates, Na2SO4, potassium tetraosophates, K2SO4, and calcium tetraosophate cis. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what Jan wants you to know when it comes to general properties of metallic compounds. Don't do more than yourself. Don't impress anybody. If Jan says stop here, stop, unless you are preparing for another exam. Some persons are so intelligent that they still fail Jan. They study what they are not told to impress their friends. You come, John, what is this? What is that? And John doesn't know it, John feels bad. Whereas, ask not what you are preparing for. Prepare for what Jam says you should prepare for. For example, in mathematics, Jam doesn't expect you to know the um, inverse of 3 by 3 matrices. 
fine, you can lend them. But doing that, you keep wasting your time while you've not covered the things you have to know. You know 2x2 two two matrix, inverse of 2x2 two two matrix, determinants of 3x3 three three matrix, you are good to go. Nobody seems you to be doing all those rubbish or to impress anybody. No, don't study out of point. Don't study what you are not asked. Nobody is impressed. If you do that, you waste time and you don't focus on the important thing, you fail. Another thing Jambites don't know is that as you watch this video now, you understand a lot of things. It doesn't mean you know it yet. No. Tomorrow, next tomorrow, watch again, close the video, open your book, begin to write. Check how many you can remember from what you study. If you do that over and over again, you write, you solve on your own without watching and you are correct. You do that after like five, six times, it gets, it becomes part of you. As such, you can see that, okay, I understand this. Otherwise, you use assumption to go into the hole, you begin to forget, ah, this, 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 this. It is not village people, no. It is because you didn't study very, very, and very, very well. So, that is it for this episode. Get the Flash Learner's Jam application and begin to play with questions and begin to practice. The app is compulsory and a requirement for this class. You won't get the best out of this series unless you get the Flash Learner's Jam app because it complements the series. That is it there. See ya.